All right, one more quick thing I need to talk about, about the basics of Euclidean vectors. So all the examples we've been given so far are 2D, but in this class, we're really focused on 3D graphics. So we have to add a dimension. We have to add a coordinate. So I'll start off the same, where this is my positive x and this is my positive y. But I'm also going to add a third axis, which is my z axis. And positive z actually comes out in this direction. And this is to keep it as a right-handed coordinate system, which we'll talk more about next week. But so now let's say I have a vector v, and it's actually going to have three coordinates, a, b, and c. Let's not forget to put our arrow on top here. Um, all right, and then the magnitude of this vector is going to be this is going to be the square root. Actually, I now have LaTeX enabled. Let me show you that real quick. So I can say I can go here text or extensions text text text. I just don't feel like trying to draw the square root again. So so anyway, the magnitude of the vector v is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. So similar so far, but now we're going to put c squared. So it's a direct generalization of the Pythagorean theorem up to higher dimensions. And of course, I forgot to put the dollar signs. Okay, there we go. So let's let's see that formula. Okay, so here's the formula. So this is the magnitude of a vector in 3D. Look at how nice that square root is now. Okay. So let's just try to draw it real quick. Um, and to draw it, okay, so let's let me first place, let's say that here is the A here. So along my x, I'm at a. Let's say that we're, he we're here's my b for y, and here's my c for z. So my z-axis here. Whoops. And then so what I got to do is I'm going to make a little box here. Okay. Let me get that the right size. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I, I'm going to draw kind of a box. Let me just get this lined up right here. Oops, there we go. Okay. And so I'm going to draw line segments that are parallel to the axes. I'm going to draw this box here. And the corner which is furthest from the origin is going to be the tip of my vector. So here's the vector. This is the vector A, B, C. So A along X, B along Y, and then C along Z. So there we go. All right, so, so one, and one of the most important things you need to remember is just that, I mean, it's a direct generalization, addition, subtraction, scale, and multiplication work exactly the same way. Um, but just remember, there, there's different ways of defining 3D coordinate systems. We're really sticking to positive x is right, positive y is up, and positive z is actually we think of as out of the screen. So if we want to describe things that are in front of us, negative z would actually be into the screen. So that's a thing that a lot of people mess up. They're like, well, let me put something really far in front of me. I'll give it a high z value. But I actually want to give it a very negative z value. Okay, so that's it for, for 3D coordinate systems.